where brain meets talent and the young people are soaring to great heights. In today's program, we have Martin Kenywa, a student of social work at Kibabi University, but on the side, a great musician. Let's hear it. Amani ko peshele yo jana sikulipa pengine kesho uchumi ni mbaya tujaribu leo Mondays ni hangovers maybe we no i swear ah pombe nitawacha na hiki banda madhe mimi sitakuja pengine kesho nitamua kuokoka either way Pombe ni tawacha pombe 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 ni bala pombe 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 ni tawacha pombe 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 ni bala pombe 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 ni bala wow wow such a great voice but uh, how come the song pombe unakunywa nini uh, i don't drink okay uh, it's just art it's it's talking just about art. art yeah okay yeah. so what did you intend to spread through that song uh the song pombe comes from a project of mine that i have in my draft called social path uh social path uh, speaks about my my childhood experiences and i've had an experience with drunkards or people who are, have an issue with uh, alcohol so i had to sing about it wow yeah, yeah just okay. to express what i went through ah and now pursuing a, a degree in social work aside alongside with music what is the back story back story of social work uh when an opportunity came for me to join university uh, i was i chose social work for mm-hmm. a purpose because i grew up in kibera and in kibera we've seen organizations we've seen people trying to motivate us to study hard go to university so i knew what i wanted and i wanted to change my community i wanted to change the society i wanted to to uh, experience uh, what social work is uh, in the classroom because i've experienced it in the field mm-hmm. yeah so uh, i want to change where i've come from okay yeah. so and what motivated you to do music is it uh, also aside with the social work you wanted also to do music no uh, i started singing when i was in high school uh in form around in form 1 yeah i started writing music when i was in form 3 so music has been part of me and uh i just had to do music apart from studying because music is my passion oh yeah, yeah. okay what kind of music do you do uh, i do meaningful music uh, i'm a christian mm-hmm. i sing in what i believe in okay yeah that's what i say i sing in what i believe in wow yeah. so what was the motivation behind being a songwriter you write your own songs yeah. there are people who do covers for different artists music but you decided let me write my own thing why did you do that i wanted to be a voice uh that could be heard in my community from my youths uh in church mm-hmm. you know so i decided uh, i wanted I, i i noticed i have a gift in writing so i wanted to be a voice that i could tell my own stories through music you see a song like pombe is i don't drink but i've explained something that people go through mm-hmm. we want to quit alcohol every monday but we don't do uh, that by friday okay. so i wanted to be heard i wanted to tell stories i wanted people to hear me out mm-hmm. is what i wanted to to put across wow. you've said you're a christian and you use your music to spread the gospel of yeah. the things you believe yeah. in so what elements do you project using your music to miskia pombe what other music do you do and what elements do you project using that uh as a christian uh god of course i believe in god i believe in everything uh god says in the bible mm-hmm. apart from that a social i've said i have a project called social path mm-hmm. it speaks 
what goes on in the community. I have songs speaking about gender-based violence. I have songs on love. I have on heartbreaks. I have on all round. I'm an all round person. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that I, I, I sing in what I want people to hear or what people don't say. Mm -hmm. And as a social worker, it boosts me a lot. Because if I sing about alcohol, alcohol is a problem in uh, in communities. You know, for most youths, people, people don't want to quit or people are addicted with drugs. Mm -hmm. If I speak about drugs in musical form, people might hear it for entertainment, but I'm passing a lot of information uh, to it. Uh, there are also Christians who are <laughs> who are suffering from these addictions, but we don't know. And coming from a Christian uh, perspective, it's I try to speak to them also that yo this thing can be avoided. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm curious to understand how do you find the balance between studying social work you're not yet uh, you've not completed and uh, doing music. You're also a performing artist, so yeah. how do you do it? It's hard. Uh, most of the time, okay, classes go on uh, during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have my rehearsals from around 5 p.m. to around 8 p.m. We have a group of people who come around school, we jam some music. I also do practice my music at night. So from midnight, you, I'll have my guitar in my house. I just jam and write music. Okay. And also during the weekend, partly. Midnight? Yeah, from midnight. Doesn't it bring a lot of issues around the society or the place where you live? I haven't had any issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but midnight is a really good hour because there is that serene uh, quietness that the atmosphere brings. Mm -hmm. And I love I love calmness myself. Okay. So I, I concentrate a lot when there is calmness. Oh. Yeah. Most musicians that I have encountered have a, an idol they look up to or a, a motivation person they look up to. Who is that for you? I have so many. Mm. I look up to so many people because they build several aspects in my life. Mm -hmm. I look up to, there's a duo called Watenda Wili. Uh, those guys are legendary. They're going to be legends someday. Mm -hmm. uh, I look up to Manasseh Shalom, mm -hmm. Isaac Imani. They do impact me in a lot of ways, uh, okay. both playing the guitars and, and also singing, and they are personalized too. Wow. Music uh, requires a lot of training and technical skills. As you have played the guitar, definitely you needed a skill to do that. Uh, did you get some type of training or it was something that you just decided, I'll do this and I'll teach myself? Um, for a start, I tried picking up a guitar when I was in high school, mm. but I failed. I failed. So when I joined campus, I found a gap uh, in the Christian Union. They did not have a guitarist. Mm -hmm. So I took up an initiative. I went to YouTube, learned, and I can say most of my skills, mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten them from YouTube, and a few people have been guiding me. There was a guy who was a fourth year by then, when I was in first year. He used to guide me a lot on how to play, how to hold a guitar, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But my skills, I uh, YouTube all day. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so YouTube is really a good teacher. YouTube is our best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, how do you intend to propel your music further while also involved in social work? Do you intend to drop any or are you going with them as they are? I can't drop any of them. Mm. Uh, music boosts my social work uh, profession a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, for an instance, when I sing about gender-based violence, Gender-based violence is a social phenomenon going on in the society. Mm -hmm. And I choose to tackle it through art and through now the profession or the career wise. Mm -hmm. So I plan on being a social worker and a musician at the same time. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done uh, my first attachment, uh, I did it at Mbagadi Hospital. And, and you know, singing, uh, singing to those children uh, just melts my heart. So yeah. I think I'm going to be both. Mm. Yeah. And uh, do you find any setback while doing this? Maybe resistance from your families or friends? Do you find any difficulties or challenges that you can mention? Uh, at first there were uh, resistance from family. <laughs> My mom never wanted. Mm -hmm. I bought a guitar and everybody was saying you're going nuts okay. because I didn't know to play mm -hmm. by then. Uh, Right now, I have the support I need from my family because they've come to appreciate the fact that I'm in this fully mm -hmm. and I'm doing great work outside here. Uh, maybe the challenge that I'm, I'm facing is money. 
financial, uh, getting the resources. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to go to town, maybe to perform, and there's no fear. Or I'm supposed to be in studio to record. I do record at a certain studio called Branton Music uh, in Kanduri, there's no fear. Uh, so financial resources is my biggest challenge. Okay. And also time, time balancing. I have, I'm a fourth year, I have a project to do. Uh, sometimes I have an event to go to, I have to rehearse, I have to do a project, I have to do assignment. Wow. So time balancing is, is, is an issue, is mm -hmm. an issue, yeah. And how do you cope with that? Now I, I have to be strict with my time management, now my schedule. If I have to be up by 6 p, uh, a.m. Uh, to, to rehearse, I have to. If I miss that, it's gone. Okay. That, day, that day is gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have strict uh, time schedules that allow me to now balance my social life, my music life, my education life. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so that I don't miss on any of them. Wow. You sound so passionate about whatever you're doing. So can you tell us any nice or your best experiences in your journey or the worst experiences you've mm -hmm. had? Okay, let me start with my worst. Okay. <laughs> my worst experience is, uh, my, my worst experience in this school mm. was uh, I was supposed to sing at a fourth year's uh, meeting mm. with the VC uh, back then, I guess two years or three years back. And uh, the VC was late to come to the meeting and people were angry and agitated. So I was called up on stage to perform to a set of angry people. Mm. So they never accepted me. Yeah. yeah, that is my worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have several best experiences. Mm -hmm. First, in the Kenya National Theatre, Ukumbi Mdogo, I, I got a chance to perform, and people sang along to my music, and I, I felt like crying because they don't know my music. They are hearing for the first time, and they are singing along to it. That is my best so far. Mm. That's my best. Another one in school, in Career Week, uh, Cultural Week, I got to perform, and people loved me for who I was and, and just me. Yeah, that's my best. Wow. You mentioned something about picking up the guitar at high school level and you failed. Mm. There's someone out there who wants to try to learn a skill or they are talented but they do not know how to do it. What can you tell such a person? Don't give up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the essence of trying is, it means you might fail but uh, you might fail and rise up again when you choose to. Mm. So my advice to those people who are trying to do to acquire a skill is just uh, be motivated enough to rise up even after failing. Uh, so many times we write songs and they don't just work out, they don't make sense. That doesn't mean we don't write again. It means we, okay, I'll sleep, I'll wake up tomorrow and write another one. So you get motivated and rise up again and try and try and try and try. Mm. That's the magic, yeah. trying. That is the magic of trying. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, where do you see yourself in future? Maybe your career as a social worker and your music? Uh, I see myself being a professional social worker in the community, deep down, uh, assisting people, assisting children, uh, talking, to, uh, talking to people, talking to you know, counseling, a lot of counseling. Mm -hmm. I see myself as a social icon and, uh, when mm -hmm. it comes to music. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to feel, I want to feel uh, theaters in Nairobi, uh, you know, someday. Mm -hmm. And I see myself doing that actually. I want my music to impact people, not only Christians, but you know, general people in the society. I want my music to speak to people, music of the soul, mm -hmm. music of the heart. Yeah. Wow. What is your call to the community, especially people who Young people with big dreams, such as yours, but they do not have hope. My call is to call them, uh, just be hopeful. Be hopeful. Uh, pray a lot, you know, write down your goals and work towards your goals. You know, it's one thing to have goals and it's another to work towards them. If you want to be a musician, then stand up, sing to people. If you want to be an instrumentalist, take that instrument, do. You all have to do. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you said you bought a guitar as a student and you've clearly stated financial issues, yeah? Yes. So <laughs> what is the source of that money that you used to buy the guitar? Uh, I used my help. <laughs> oh, help. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, my, my, I, I had a passion for the guitar and nobody could 
support me in buying one so I used my help. Ilingia mimi nikaingia duka tu. I decided to risk. It's called risking. Mm-hmm. So I risk my money bought it and and I cannot regret. Mm-hmm. I cannot regret right now. So how did you survive? Where did you get the money to refund the help you used to buy a guitar? I cannot say I refunded it 100% uh, at the same time. But by now, uh, I'm sure I've refunded because uh, I bought a guitar at the time I did not know how to play very well. Mm-hmm. So I invested my time in it, learned it, then now decided to go out looking for hotels that could accept me playing for them. Mm-hmm. Those are paid gigs right now. So. Mm-hmm. I uh, being paid 1500 year 700 year by now by now I'm sure I've refunded it but it was tough at first managing my school life without any money mm-hmm. and that's where family comes in of course uh calling them uh, <laughs> uh now and then now and then to just uh you know give me something <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah, okay yeah. i can see you have a business mentality in as much as you're a musician which is yes. commendable being exposed to such platforms a lot of young people when they go out there they tend to get hooked on drugs become addicts of other morally not upright things so how did you manage to focus on your education as you're still doing that um as for me i can say choice choice is an important thing that we live uh with every day mm. uh before now coming to the choice i've grew up in kibra i've seen everything like by now i've seen everything mm. and i've had a rough childhood you know uh now the childhood has shaped me now being me right now and going to those live gigs mm. and still managing to stand by what i believe in I make a lot of choices and and sometimes I have to be strict on myself. Mm-hmm. Uh you know choices have consequences. Yeah. And I tend to stand in what I believe in. So that has been always that has always been uh what I've followed in my life. I don't have a routine or or mm-hmm. some people I do follow. Mm-hmm. I just I just do follow me. I do follow me. Yeah. There are things I do, there are things I don't do. Yeah, there are things I don't have to do, but I do. There are things Uh, the society expects me to do and i don't do is mm-hmm. that's choice mm-hmm. choice you've spoken about being self driven but there are other people who are naturally their natural instinct is to become a follower you are a leader of your own but yeah. there are others who need someone to follow what can you tell such a person it's time to get out of your comfort zone uh, if following someone makes you more comfortable it means you're in danger you have to get out and lead yourself mm-hmm. sometimes make your own decisions try trial and error i, I do say that uh, try out new things uh, go out experience talk to people see how people are relating mm-hmm. uh, give yourself a discipline to follow mm-hmm. that you've created for yourself mm-hmm. yeah that's what i do most of the and how has that come uh, how has that helped you in the long run it has helped me to be unique to be me you know authentic i like being authentic uh, i like having a lifestyle of my own being guided by me you see uh, it has helped me to put the blames on me not on other people you know when i do this and this and this and to know where to go right when i go wrong you know of course you must have mentors or you, you must have a parent somewhere who will tell you you're going on the wrong uh, in the wrong uh, direction uh, but i've always liked to be authentic mm-hmm. uh, that's uh, my biggest uh, toxic trait maybe <laughs> i want to be authentic all the time i want to be me okay. i want to be marty wow yeah. so here you are you bought a guitar you're not really good at it and your family thinks that uh, umechizi so how did you get to win them back Oh yeah, yeah yeah it was it was a battle. Mm-hmm. Uh I remember at one time after now kupotea kidogo nyumbani kuja shule then learn. I went back home uh during Christmas and decided to serenade my family uh, with music. My mom is a huge fan of uh country music. Okay. My father is a huge fan of now uh the local dialect where I come from. And, and so I decided to win them over by singing to them what they love. So I curated a, a, a whole playlist 
you know, we sat down and I told them I want to sing uh, for you, you people. So I sang for them and I told them, uh, this is what I do. Uh, you can check my transcript. I'm, I'm not getting lost. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my education is good and this is what I do for other people. Mm. You've loved it? Yes. So if you've loved it, then other people do. And it's not hard for you to allow me to continue doing what I'm, I'm, I'm doing. And of course, here says, they kept hearing. You know, uh, we, we do see your boy performing city where and where. And uh, my mom is, is, is a happy woman by now. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the posters of events that I go to, uh, singing to her, or hearing, hearing from other people that they've seen me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she supports me. And uh, performing comes, brings about fame. Yeah. And fame can be a downfall for many people. Yes, yes. How do you maneuver through that? I'm not famous. <laughs> no, yet. but uh, if your your parents are being told ni meona kijana wako somewhere, yeah. definitely you're you're doing something. Oh, uh, okay. I cannot say I'm famous mm -hmm. yet, but uh, fame, I agree with you, fame is a poison. Uh, I just don't allow it to get uh, into my heart and head so much. Uh, balance, balance. Savara says balance in his mm -hmm. music, so I, balance. Okay, <laughs> so it's all about balancing. It's all about balancing life, balancing uh, the outside you, balancing how you talk to people, Kiburi is in here. Mm -hmm. Balancing how you relate with other people, like usijione nao, mene msani ukuinje, unaniambia nini. It's balancing and humility all the time. Wow. Yeah, bringing yourself down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Martin. I have loved the session. You're welcome. You have motivated me at a personal level, and I would wish that you go soaring to greater heights. You have had it. Take that pen, go do something with it. Take that guitar, learn that skill. It doesn't matter if you fail, the real item is to stand up and keep going because success is waiting you at the next door. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangwesa Grenis. See you next time. Kweli unaenda, sema unatupenda, tutangoja sana, hukuona tena, semini unaenda, kesho tutasema, baba letu wacha, baba ni muda, you must have been a coward, you must have been a brave one, you must have been one. You must have been a coward, you must have been a brave one, you must have been one. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it.